So here I have this Google form. I'm just collecting a few little bits of information here. I'm going to use a an extension that I um, find handy. Um, it is called Fake Filler. Um, so when you use Fake Filler, and I have it set up on a keyboard shortcut, it will go through that form and it will just give you some dummy data, which is very handy when you're doing tutorials. Um, so I'm going to fill this form with some sample data. And you'll see, like any other Google form, I get the data comes, I can have it come into a sheet. So by default, it just goes into your responses, but you can uh, add the responses, view them in a sheet. So here I have them in a sheet. Sometimes I want to do other things to that data. I want to have some formulas maybe that I copy down. And so if I come in here right now and let's say I want full name. And I can come over here and I can say, let's make that a concatenate function. And let's do first name, space, last name. And copy it down. And maybe I want to have whatever is right before the at symbol in that email. Maybe I want to create a username. I'm going to say username. And I'm going to say, you know what? I don't really know how to get that formula. So I happen to have Gemini. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to Gemini. And when I asked it, create a formula that looks at column D and only returns what is before the at symbol. It gives me this formula. And so if I want to put that formula over here, I just go bloop. And if I want to copy it down, I go bloop. Okay. Um, now, if I have a new submission come in, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to give that another sample. Let me give it another sample. Another sample. You'll see those formulas don't copy down, right? If I wanted to come over here and copy those down, I'd need to come over here and do this. But if you convert this set of form responses to a table, so if I come up to Format, Convert to Table, so now it looks like this, and I can do other things with this. I can come over here and I can turn off alternating colors. I can customize the colors. I can do uh, my unformatted text if I wanted to. I can do all kinds of things here. But what I'm particularly going to talk about are these two columns here. And I tend to, uh, if, if my column is being developed by a formula I like to put I like to make my column header red so I don't forget that what I'm seeing there is the result of a formula so here I am I've got my um, I've got my table and let's say I come over here now and I'm going to submit some more of these so I'm going to come over here I do my submit and notice that it's adding it to my table. And because those formulas were part of my table, it goes ahead and it copies them down. Used to be you had to use a formula called copy down. Um, or you had to use some other type of um, setup where maybe you were pulling an array formula in. But now you don't have to do that. Now you can just use a formula inside of a table that's inside of that responses spreadsheet. Um, I would set up at least one response to go ahead and get that formula in there. And then what happens is, is it comes in, um, as long as you're adding it to the next row, it includes it in that, that table. So very handy little tip there.